Okay, I'm going to show you how to create this real-time updating energy usage graph in Microsoft Excel for anyone who has an APC battery backup connected to their computer. So this doesn't work just for your computer, like you can plug anything you want into your APC so long as you plug it into your computer, you can log exactly how much power it uses at all times of the day. So to get started with, I'll close this out and then go to the PowerShoot Personal Edition software. So in order for this to work, you do have to install the APC software. Normally I try to avoid installing unnecessary, unnecessary software, but in this case it's actually pretty useful because it does provide the logging capabilities. So this software by itself does provide quite a bit of good useful information such as the status of the backup and all this different information. So the software by itself is not that terrible to be honest, uh, but it doesn't provide the logging capabilities that I was looking for, at least not in the software itself. It does create log files though. Um, as far as options in here, I don't think you have to have any of these boxes checked to create the log files, but it can't hurt to make sure the default options are selected. So to start with, I'm going to go to the file where I have the APC software installed. So here's the folder and here's the log file, this database file. It's a Microsoft Access file and here's the path of it for a typical installation. It could be slightly different on your computer. Uh, it is a password protected file so I had to do some research online to figure out what the password is. And it appears like the default password for these APC backups is Kruger, K-R-U-G-E-R. I'm not sure if that changes based on the model, but it works for this particular one. So that's the location of it, and now what we want to do is go into Microsoft Excel and create a blank workbook. So where's my Excel? There it is. Uh, create a blank workbook. And what we want to do now is go to the Data tab from Access, and then we'll navigate to that APC directory and you'll find the database file right here. Now open up that database and type in the password which is Kruger, K-R-U-G-E-R, -E click OK, and there's several different tables that are within this database. The one we want is current energy usage, so click OK. Yes, you want a table, and then go to properties, refresh every one minute is what I'll do, refresh it when open the file, and refresh on clicking refresh all. Come into definition, check save password so you don't have to type in Kruger every single time you open it, and here's a really important part where it says share, deny, write. Delete that and type in read, R-E-A-D, and what this will do is it will prevent Excel from locking the database file. If you don't do that, whenever you have the spreadsheet open, the APC software will be unable to write to that database because it will be locked by Excel. So that's really important. Click OK, click OK, and then here's the data. So we have quite a few different columns, start time, end time, percentage load, load, this one's in watts, duration, and energy consumed, I assume in kilowatt hours. So I don't care about most of these columns, so I'm going to hide them. And then for this one, I'll change it to this format of time. And you can see it logs really frequently. So uh, there's basically once every one to two seconds, it's creating a new entry in the log file. And it records how many watts it was using at that particular time. So that's pretty useful. And if we scroll to the bottom, you can see that it's about 10 o'clock in the morning. And it already has over 5,000 data entries in about 10 hours. So it's pretty high resolution data capture. So now what I want to do is select these two columns, come into insert, recommended chart, and then I'll use this one. And here's the chart. And I'll just make it bigger, full screen. And here's the energy usage. For some reason it's not sorting quite correctly, so I'll go smallest to largest to make sure that we're sorting from midnight to the current time. And basically you can see I stayed up way too late last night and here's when I went to bed. So I shut off the monitors on my computer and the load dropped down. I slept for this length of time and I woke up and turned the monitors on. And then you can see the energy usage throughout the day based on different things I was doing. Um, so if I were to turn on my second computer right now, so I'll power it on and 
we'll see this thing spike up here once it refreshes. But first, I'll come to the bottom of the data file. And you can see the current energy usage right here. Now, this will automatically update about once per minute. Um, I can wait for it, or I can just come up to the data here and click on refresh. Now, I did not just click that. That was an automatic refresh that you just saw. And if I come in here, you can see, after I turn on that second computer, the wattage went higher up to about 500, almost 600 watts with that second computer running. And simultaneously with that automatic update, if I come up to the top, you will notice that you can see that spike on the graph. Okay, so it's re pretty much real time. And if I come into connections and then properties, and remember we selected one minute. Unfortunately, you can't do less than one minute, but every 60 seconds it will update automatically and that graph will update. So let's see if um, if I come to the top and it will do an automatic refresh here in the next few seconds and you'll see it update all by itself. So if you have this you can just have it running on a, a screen and it will automatically update every 60 seconds throughout the entire day. And like I said before you don't have to have a computer plugged into it. There it just went. You don't have to have a computer plugged into it. You can have whatever you want plugged into this APC and then, then just have it plugged in to your computer via USB and it will log it so you can monitor energy usage on whatever you want and also of course have the battery backup capabilities so pretty simple and that's all there is to it um, and you can save this file and always reference it uh, to see what your usage is once midnight rolls around this data file is overwritten so it's not like a historical archive so once uh, midnight hits tomorrow it's going to start from scratch and you're only going to have just a few lines of data in there. Um, I'm not a super advanced Excel user, but I'm sure you can probably figure out some way to save this file at like 1159 and then uh, archive that. But that's uh, for you to figure out on your own, I guess. So I hope that's useful. And this is a pretty simple way to monitor your energy usage in real time. I hope it's useful. Thanks.